Hi everyone, I'm Jackie with ILUIK Games and today we're going to be unboxing the Kickstarter edition of Parks. So I can honestly tell you that I backed this game for two reasons, the art and the theme. We are big outdoor people. We love going out hiking and paddle boarding and kayaking. So we actually have spent a fair amount of time in both state and national parks. And this game is all about hiking through the national parks. It's going to be an art heavy game. So when we get to actually unboxing this, prepare to be shuffling through cards because I'm going to try and show you as quickly as possible as many of those cards as I can. So just before I even get the plastic off, I do want to give you an overview. The outside of our box does have a slip cover on it. So you can see as I flip through around the box here that we don't actually have any text on the outside edges. Just some highlighting of that really gorgeous artwork. And on the back, this really neat medallion just letting us know that this is the Kickstarter edition of Parks. Super cool. I do enjoy the slip covers that make these more art pieces than obvious board games, so that's just a really neat feature. I also want to highlight one card that didn't come in the box because we did support the next season of Tantrum House, and if you don't follow them on YouTube, check them out because we really enjoy them. But one of the promos that they offered was for Parks, so we backed it before we even got the game. But here is the back and the front of the Tantrum House promo card. So that is the season of Tantrum. So that'll be added into our game. And hopefully if you support a Tantrum House as well, you get to play with this card too. Well, I don't know about you, but I am ready to get into this box. So let's get the plastic off and see all the beautiful artwork on the inside. Slide that slip cover off. Sorry, bumped the camera. And here is the actual front of the game. Super pretty also. We do actually have the text on this one that lets you know what the game is. And we'll just do a quick little peek at the edges of this box because they are completely different from the ones on the slipcover. We saw those earlier, but now the plastic's off, there's less glare. So I'll show you the top and bottom. You can hear it rattling around in there. There's a lot of tokens, obviously. And the back. All right, let's get this lid off and see what's inside. So first off, I'll show you the inside of the box lid. Check that out from Arches National Park, I believe. Not one I've been to yet, but definitely one on my bucket list. Unsurprisingly, we have a rule book on the top. we we'll flip through this really quick just so you can see how it's laid out. Not super thick. That's a good sign for me. I have a mild fear of rule books. <laughs> and right off the top here, looks like we've got a little promo card for Parks. Looks like a Polaroid picture, kind of love that. And an art postcard, and that is gorgeous. Gosh, I love this art style. I believe the art in this game is actually also available as prints and postcards, maybe even a calendar. I haven't taken a look in a while. Um, but if you really like this artwork and you just want to display it rather than play the game or in addition to playing the game, which we would recommend, you can definitely check them out. I believe their website is 59parks.com and that should benefit the parks as well. Let's go ahead and jump in at these punch boards. This is so vibrant. Like, honestly, everything about this just leaps off the cardboard. I see some spot UV. It's shiny. It's so pretty. Some more punch boards here with those different environments. Oops, easy punch boards. Things are already popping out there. A few more. <laughs> already just ready to play. And we're into the game trays. Game trays are like my favorite thing in the entire universe. So yay, game trays. 
We'll jump into these and see what's inside these already organized trays. Check out these tokens. Okay, so we have some custom cut meeples here. We have a wild cat right off the bat. Loving the colors, by the way, the way that these sit in here and they have this gradient going on is so appealing. Some mountains and looks like the New Mexico state flag. Um, <laughs> we have some trees and some water. The lid for the game trays does have a tree bark texture to it, which is a super cool detail. And the other side of these particular game trays does have more of those same tokens. You can see those as we kind of zoom through there. We have a game board. This one actually fits within the camera here, so you can actually see it. Um, so this will be where we are playing our game, lays out where your different decks go. These I find very helpful, almost more so than player aids, because knowing where you're supposed to put things or maybe where you're missing things really helps when you're learning a game or remembering how to play after a while. If I had to guess, I'd say this is the first player token. This is metal, if you can't tell. It looks like a little pin that you might have gotten if you were in Scouts. Super cool. It says, any way the wind blows, and it's a nice shiny enamel. And we have some meeples in here. Let's pull these out so you can see these. I pulled out one of each color, just so you can see, but there are actually two of each color of these tokens. And if I hold them up close here, you can see they are screen printed with their little icons of um, hikers or park rangers. We'll have to check the rule book to see specifically who they are, but those are really cute. And now we've gotten to the cards. This is where all the gorgeous art, aside from the ones we already saw on the cardboard punch boards, is actually existing. So I'm going to start with the little decks and then we'll work our way up to what I'm sure is absolutely stunning art inside this big deck. So the cards inside that package broke down into events and gear. So we'll start with events. You can see the wolf on the one side of all of the event cards. And then the other side has those events laid out. That um, text here, it's, it's shiny. It's really pretty. These are really sharp, even for being just cards. And the gear deck. So we'll flip that over. So we'll kind of swipe through these. You can see they have kind of a retro style. I think it's very cool. If you do frequent state and national parks like we do, you know that they are a little retro. When you go inside the, the, the areas at the front where you register or get your campsites, they're, they're still a little stuck in the 60s in there, which is great. It just adds to the whole feeling of being out in the wilderness in places that have been untouched by modern society. So I love that they followed that same feeling with the cards and the illustrations and the colors in this game. Open the other smaller deck here. So inside that package, we had seasons. So these you may recognize the back from the promo card that I showed you earlier. These are really pretty. They do have artwork on the other side along with their text. We also have the canteens. And the year cards. All right, we have one final deck of cards to get open here, and this is the one that I'm expecting to find full of stunning artwork. Not that the rest of the game wasn't already full of stunning artwork, but I'm excited to dig into the bigger cards here. So these are the Parks cards. So inside this deck, there should be cards representing all of the national parks in the US. These are beautiful, and these are the ones that you can get the prints of if you check out their website. In case you really love one of these, or maybe it's from your home state or a memorable vacation, these are super cool in a really neat art style. We'll go through these all just so you can go ahead and see what is in this deck and what kind of beautiful artwork you're going to be looking at while you play this game. Oh, Yosemite, I've been there.
I think this is just gonna make my bucket list of national parks to visit even longer, which I didn't know was possible, but apparently it is. Oh good, I was hoping to see this one. Big Bend is here in our home state of Texas. This is also a bucket list park for us. We haven't done it yet because actually it takes a little bit of preparation. When you look at going to Big Bend National Park, they recommend that you know where the closest gas station is because it's very far from the park. And there's really only one place inside the park that's already been built up for staying. Otherwise you do have to do some pretty primitive camping there. On the inside of the box, you can see that we do have some more of those nice inserts going on. So when this packs back up, it'll be easy to put everything back and it's all gonna stay nice and secure inside this box and be easy to set up for future gameplay. Thanks for joining us for our unboxing of Parks. This is a game that I'm so excited to play, not only at home, but maybe on the go. This might have to come with us and be played outside when we're out and about actually hiking and enjoying the outdoors. It's very thematic and very fun. So we are really excited to get this on the table. If you enjoyed this unboxing, we do recommend that you check out our channel. We can be found here at I-L-U-I-K Games. If you give us a subscribe, you'll get notified about our future videos. And if you check out our channel, you can see the past videos because we'll have both unboxings as well as some live plays of other games that we have in our collection. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.